Modgkin is an incredible woman. Having been through absolute hell, she has managed to form a loving relationship with her husband, Millard, and against all odds, approached one of the dreams that is taken for granted by most young Australians, that of achieving a high school certificate. It seems now that both these dreams may be snatched from her grasp by this monstrous, callous regime that we call the LNP government. This amazing, talented, resourceful young woman has been tortured, raped and abused. And yet we do not perceive that she has a well-founded fear of persecution. If Modgkin is not a refugee, then I do not understand what you have to endure to become one. We are here today to call upon Minister Dutton to free Modgkin. We are also here to do something else, something perhaps even more important, even deeper and more abiding. And that is to call upon the Australian people to change their hearts towards asylum seekers. We are now in the most drastic, moral, ethical and spiritual danger that we have ever experienced. We are incarcerating innocent men, women and children. We are denying people basic human rights. And what outrages us above all else? What politicians spend on travel. Surely our pollies should be accountable. But let's get our righteous indignation priorities right. And it is not just travel, it is what we are doing to human beings. We drag a traumatised young woman full of hopes and dreams away from her husband, away from her education and away from her support network. And it is hardly reported. Where is the outrage? If this is not evidence, of incredible moral decay, I do not know what is. Modgkin's name comes from the Persian word for eyelash. The same root word in Latin, cilia, is where we get our word reconciliation. To reconcile is literally to come together, eyelash to eyelash. We need to ask ourselves, who do we want to be as a people? Do you want to be a people characterised by cruelty, barbarism and the denial of human rights? No. No. Do you want to be a people known for abuse, torture and murder? No. No. Do you want to be a people whose corporate soul is diminished, desiccated and lifeless? No. No. Then we must awake from our slumber, reconcile our shadow, reclaim our decency, rekindle our compassion and proclaim this from the rooftops. We have so much to do. Go forth from this place and call your parliamentarians. Tell them you will never vote for a party that practices such evil. Give asylum seekers their faces back, learn their stories and share them with colleagues, neighbours and friends. Visit a detention centre, learn the facts, challenge the lies. We have much to do and we will never give up. Because we are Australian, we will free ourselves from this tyranny and we will fight to free Mojgar. And so now may your God bless you and if you don't have one, may you bless one another. Thank you very much.